Johnny Ringo was an unhinged Old West killer, and sometimes outlaw, whose strange story runs into legends of the Old West, like John Hardin, the Earp Brothers, and Doc Holliday. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the new video. John was born in the spring of 1850 in Greens Fork, Indiana. His family moved to Liberty, Missouri in 1856, like many other people of the time. His Aunt Augusta was married to Coleman Younger, uncle of the outlaws. Several years later, they moved to Gallatin. The Civil War started in 1861, and in 1864, when Johnny was 14, his family decided to pack up and move to California, possibly due to the fighting raging throughout Kansas and Missouri during the war. While the family was stopped in Wyoming, his father was killed when he stepped off their wagon holding a shotgun, which accidentally fired. The blast literally removed the top of his head. This event was likely devastating to the family, but accidents were quite common along the pioneer trails. Johnny eventually arrived in California with his mother, brother, and sisters and they planted roots near San Jose. Several years later, in 1869, Ringo left his family behind and moved to Mason County, Texas. He was almost 20 years old at the time and planned to try ranching. He arrived in Llano County and became friends with ranchers Moses Baird and Scott Cooley. A local conflict, called the Mason County War, was heating up, involving strong disagreements between German immigrants and local ranchers. After friend Moses Baird was ambush killed, Ringo was determined to get revenge, and in September 1875, he rode up to Cheney's house with a friend. Cheney who had led Baird into the ambush, greeted them unarmed and invited them in. He began washing his face on the porch. Ringo shot and killed him. Later, Cooley and Ringo killed Charlie Bader, mistaking him for his brother. Both men were jailed in Burnett, but Ringo and Cooley soon broke out with the help of their friends, and made a quick getaway. While in jail, it's alleged that one of Ringo's cellmates was John Wesley Harden. After being acquitted of his crimes, Ringo served a short stint as a small town constable before making his way to Arizona. Ringo first appeared in Coaches County, Arizona in 1879 with his friend Joe Hill from the Mason County War. In December 1879, a drunk Ringo shot an unarmed Lewis Hancock at a saloon when Hancock refused a shot of whiskey from Ringo, stating that he preferred beer. Hancock survived his wound after this, Johnny Ringo headed out for Tombstone, looking for more trouble. Ringo developed a reputation as having a bad temper, and he allegedly participated in robberies and killings with the Coaches County Cowboys, a loosely associated group of outlaws. In January 1882, Ringo and the famous Doc Holliday traded threats, and seemed headed for a gunfight. Both men were arrested by Tombstone's chief of police and taken before a judge for carrying weapons in town. Both were fined, 
However, there was an outstanding warrant against Ringo for a robbery in Gaileyville, and Ringo was rearrested and jailed on January 20th for the weekend. Two days after the 4th of July, Ringo left Tombstone carrying several bottles of liquor. Deputy Billy Breckenridge saw him riding and said that Ringo looked very drunk, reeling in the saddle. He encouraged Ringo to follow him back to the Goodrich Ranch, but he was drunk and stubborn and went on his way. Ringo's body was found at the base of several trees in West Turkey Creek, Arizona Territory. His body had already turned black from the desert heat. His feet were wrapped in strips of cloth torn from his undershirt. Ringo had lost his horse with his boots tied to the saddle. The coroner's report noted that he had evidently traveled only a short distance in this footgear. There was a bullet hole in his right temple and an exit wound at the back of his head, his Colt single action still resting in his right hand, the hammer resting on an empty chamber. A knife cut was found at the base of his scalp, as if someone had cut it with a knife. His horse was found 11 days later about two miles away, with Ringo's boots still tied to the saddle. The coroner officially ruled his death a suicide. Johnny Ringo is buried near the base of the tree where his body was found. The grave is located on private land, and a gate nearby allows visitors to view the site. There are many stories and theories alleging that his death was not a suicide, but a murder. We'll never know. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the new video.